lot of pressure there going very nicely with the front. You can see the sun just in the out in the single file now. The race is uh, led along by Wayne Carter from New South Wales. Wayne, a former West Australian, is the New South Wales Criterium champion of the 1990. Uh, when the riders get a whistle and a yellow flag, it will mean that they are sprinting for points for the Sprint King's prize of $200. Uh, they will be awarded points 5, 3, 2 and 1 for those sprints. And they will occur at 5, 15. If I, I interviewed, I don't know, they might not even come up, but I interviewed David Spessett and Tim Willings. So if they, if there's, uh, if you happen to see where they come in, I mean, that's not vital. If you, if you can't do that, well, that's okay. Yeah. They come to uh, one four. Still, we send us to ten of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
six kilometres to the end of this race as they come through across the line this time. South Wales wearing number 34 has come to the front of the field this time through I think for the first time bunches all together as they come up the straight this time and they get five laps to go that's uh, five laps to go as they come through this time so we see Glenn Price there at the lead of the field also it was away earlier in the breakaway as the riders get five to go just looking through the field, there's a couple of riders there that I would have expected to be a little bit further up at this stage with a fair amount of work to do so and uh, that includes uh, well, we'll say, we'll the Australian uh, road champion Matthew Dodona, who was down in the last 10 or 12. Oh, but uh, I don't think Matthew would sit too comfortably back there over the next four or five laps. But wearing number 34, that's still away, he's got five or six seconds on the, the bunch. The bunch being headed up at the moment by number 151, the uh, West Australian junior and Hank Vogels. Uh, Glenn Price, sorry, is uh, the leader, not Perry. Glenn Price, number 34, is the leader. It's uh, him coming through this time with four laps to go. Field now comes into view. This uh, four to go. as they get the call, four to go. It's, uh, I see Don Cosgrove, Kelly Handley, one four. Also, Brett Dennis from Queensland up amongst the leaders, and that's, uh, I think that's the first time we've seen Dennis move right up to the front of the field. Yeah, yeah. Well, as he's through the corner, he's still holding a fairly comfortable gap there. Dennis is actually trying to through that corner. He's still onto his wheel as they head down into the back of the course once more. As he now turns and comes up towards the turn into the straight, I can see him coming into view. That gap starting to shorten, though. By the time he turns, I reckon he'll be down to about three seconds on the field. It uh, still looks as though it's Brett Dennis, the Queenslander, in second wheel going forward fairly strongly. But uh, Glenn Price it is that comes up the straight once more. Might to continue that New South Wales domination of these Australian Road Championships and individual events. 
and uh, New South Wales managed to pick them up. Dennis next, then John Cosgrove. See also Green Kelly handily positioned now is uh, David Hennessy from New South Wales goes up into fourth spot. The riders are now at the stage of the race where a puncture or mechanical mishap will not give them a lap out. They won't get back into the race. How many, John? Three. Three. The lead's changing quite significantly. The bunch are starting to pack up as they come through with two laps of this event. Still to go. We find quite a lot of nervousness and a fair amount of pressure in the bunch now as riders start to make their forward move with two laps of this event to go. It's Lance Portman from Western Australia that's leads them along again from number 176 from Queensland. I see Alex Scam is also fairly handily placed. So they swing into view this time and we've just asked the spectators to stand well back on the road there. As they come into view this time to uh, get the bell, the bell will start to ring fairly early as they come down. Still very well packed up. The see Smith is still fairly handily positioned there, and Warren Doyle also. Number, uh, number of the New South Wales riders also moving up fairly well. I also saw Dan, Dan, Damien McDonald, sorry. I keep trying to get his brother Dan into the field, but it's Damien McDonald from Victoria in the blue and white colours also very handily positioned as they went around to be uh, past the football club once more and the pressure will really be on as they start to pack up the other back stroke. Still there and spent from New South Africa, Queensland, and led them through that pen. Matthew Bizzano, I heard I was out of the back of the field and eased up. And uh, they swing into the home straight now, and I'd have to leave it to you. I can't see across the top of the crowd as they come down into the straight for the Australian Criterion Championships of 1990. As we look down the straight, very good finish there, down around the outside. I can see the New South Wales rider in Warren Doyle, and Alex Lutz is tipped as wide as Warren Doyle comes down the outside of the field. Very good finish there by Doyle to take it out. As we said, it'll come for laps to go by David Smith and Warren Doyle with very good chances in that sort of field. And uh, a very good finish by Doyle to come home and take out the Australian National Criterion Championship for 1990. Second place is number 70, Grant Rice from Tasmania. And the third place went to rider number 71, David Malpey from South Australia. So we just wait for Warren Doyle to come down as he's uh, winding down for lap there. Just get you to meet him in the middle of the road. See you guys like that play out. So thanks for right there by Warren Doyle.
for 1990 is Warren Doyle representing New South Wales. Uh, Warren was second last year, so the improvement is there. I don't know what he's going to do for next year. Left the field, I suppose. In second place, Grant Rice, representing Tasmania. David Maltby, representing South Australia. Sorry, sorry. Oh, the Grand Rice has also improved from fourth position to third, so next year, second. And can we have the winner of the Sprint King points scored to the PA? Well, have the Sprint King, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second.